Welcome to the Ivory Trace YouTube channel. In today's class, we're going to learn how to sew this beautiful funnel corset that we see here. So previously, we have cut it. I've uploaded the tutorial on how to cut, how I draft and cut the pattern of this corset. So if you have not watched that, you need to go and watch it so that you know how the patterns are drafted before you watch the sewing tutorial. So this tutorial is just going to cover how to sew the patterns together. It's a combination of a bossy and an overbust corset as you can see. So I'm going to teach you how to sew them, how to neatly attach the bossy to the overbust just like you see it there. And then I'm also going to teach you how to sew it in a neat way so that you have it neat both in and out. It has been simplified as much as possible and it's going to be simple so all you just need to do is to watch it carefully and i'm sure you're going to get it if this is something you would like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial so now i have drafted the pattern like i said so i just added seam allowances all around it and then i placed it on my fabric and then i'm cutting it out so that is what you need to do then after this we'll go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and then we're going to sew okay so i have gone ahead to cut them out on fabric and like i explained i had it half an inch all around it so this had the bustier that i have i ironed interfacing to them this is the lining. So on the lining, I am SD and then I ironed um, soft wording to pad just the lining. You can see. These are the lining pieces. Let me arrange it so that you can see it well. Okay. These are the lining pieces. I ironed SD and gums and um, wording, soft, the soft one to it. And then this is the main fabric. I ironed SD to that as well because the fabric is kind of um, stretchy. So to stabilize it, I ironed just SD. I did not add wood into it. So I'll take it to the same machine now and then sew the bustier. I'm going to join the bustier part. Okay. So I'll set this aside and then sew. Then for the main bodies. I've gone ahead to cut all of them as well. You can see this is the main fabric, the this is the lining, and then I higher press this to all of them. And then I added my half an inch allowance. Okay, I added the same half an inch allowance to the side as well because I do not want any allowance on my side. Okay, I don't want it packing on that side. So these are the front patterns. So we're going to go ahead and join them together as well you join the center front to the middle front and then you join the middle front to the side front okay and then we'll do this for this other side as well so you join them all together and then you're going to do the same thing for the back as well you join the center back i have notched where i'm supposed to join because the back always look similar so that you don't get confused i've placed notches there and then if you notice the center i place two notches so that i will know the one that is going for the high leg so that just make marks so that i don't get confused so now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and join all of them together and that logic is you can keep your patterns on them and then pick one after the other so that when you are joining there's not going to be any mistakes so i'll take it out to the sewing machine now and then i'm going to start joining them together Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew it. Then after sewing, you're going to open your seams. You iron it open. So this is the lining of the bustier. This is what it looks like. This is the main fabric for the bustier. 
okay and these are the main pieces so this is the main fabric for the overbust corset i have hired it as well that's why it's looking this flat that's the front and this is the lining for the front as well okay so these are the back pieces we have for two lining and two main fabric i've hired all of them as well so now i want to adjust my pattern a little bit you can actually leave it like this if that is what you want that's for the inner bust okay you can leave it the way it is but i want to cage it so i want to do complete caging on it so i don't want my caging to get to this side i want it to be around where my bust is so i'm going to be adjusting my pattern to do that so if you want yours as well you can just adjust your pattern like that before you cut on fabric since i traced my pattern out you can see i still have my original pattern here so i'm going to be adjusting it on the original pattern so that you understand what i'm doing so the first thing is that if you look at this pattern this is the um, neckline for the this is the neckline for the bust here and the neckline for the corset goes from here like this okay it's almost at the same point especially around here you can see both the cost the inner bust here and the over post corset so i want the inner bust to be a bit lower so here i'm going to come down by around one inch okay on this part i'm going to come down by around one inch and then i'm going to reconnect like this so you can use the curve for that as well i'm going to reconnect to the side like this okay so you decide here you can come down by one and a half inches but i just have a way i want it to be inside so that is what i'm following you can shape the neckline of your bustier anyhow you want so i'm following this at the same time i want to reduce the side as well let me bring this way so that i can see how it is okay the bust is going to be here and somewhere around here it's not going to be extending to the side we don't have bust on the side so i want my cage to stop where my bust is going to be so i'm just going to use this that line as a reference okay remember the bust here goes like this before so now i want it to stop around here so what i'm going to do now is to just bring in the my curve driller and then connect like this because i don't want to work with this anymore so i'm going to reconnect it just like this so now you can see the shape that i have for my bustier so if i'm to trace this out again what i'm going to trace is this remains the same but for this head i'm going to trace like this okay this is my new shape and then this is the new neckline so all of this that i traced earlier is not going to be there okay so i just thought to show us that but you can also work with the one I did earlier but for me i am adjusting this so those are the adjustments that i'm making so let me just show you how i'm going to trim that out on my bustier as well so if you have not yet done all of this you can just retrace and then record your pattern but here i have done that to mine so here i'm just going to rearrange my bustier like this i'm working on just this side remember we did not touch the center front which is this so all the adjustments is just going to be on this side so now i'm going to mark down one inch just like i did i'll first check what i have from the shoulder from the shoulder here i think i came in by around two inches to meet this that line so from here you can just mark around two inches here okay and then you can use the same curve driller that we use to reconnect like this okay so i have done that so now remember i reduced the height as well so for the height you can just come down by one inch the same way we did on this line so you come down by one inch here and then you reconnect like this it is that simple so i'm going to be placing this on the fabric so that you can cut them out together i hope you understand that so this inner bust here is not going to get to the side of my bust again of my corset again that's because that's how i want to do it i want to sew this separately and then sew the bust here, uh, the over bust corset separately then i'm going to match them together okay so now 
to pad it, I'm going to be padding. Sorry, I'm going to be doing the caging on the lining. Okay, then I'm going to cover it up with this, the main fabric. So I've adjusted it and this is what I have. So I'm just going to be marking along the lines that I'm going to be caging. So the first line I'm marking on is my center, center front, like this. So you just put it on fold and get the center point. That was going to divide it for you. Then after that, I'm going to divide from the center point to this dark line here. So I'm going to mark another. I like to do um, full pad caging, okay? If you don't want it too full, you can just do on the dark lines alone. But I want mine to be really structured. That's why I'm matching this. I'm marking this much now. So I have divided that as well. So now I'm going to come to this side and then mark on this. You can just divide this side into two as well. Or you can just mark one here and then maybe another one here. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing on this other side. So it's totally up to you and how much you want to cage this. Then I'm marking on that one here. So after doing this, we have done all the vertical ones. So we'll do the horizontal cagey now. I'm going to mark, get where your boss points is. That's the deepest part, which is here. So I'm going to be placing one here. I'm going to take it to the side as well. So you just try to imitate what you have done on one side. Make sure you are doing the same thing on the other side. So you can see what we have there. So here, I'm going to divide this into two again and mark another one here all the way to the side. Okay. So on the upper part, you can divide this into two or divide it into two. So I think I'm just going to divide into two like this and mark. So you can see how much boning I'm going to be adding to this. So you can see what I have there. And of course, the outer part, are going to be sewing it like that so this is how i am caging this if you want to add another one here you can just add and it's going to stop around here on the upper part there so i'll go ahead and cage this and then i'm going to bring it back to show us okay so this is what we have when we are done you can see i have caged this and you can see the depth of the cup so the next thing we're going to do now is to go ahead and flesh it. So to do that, I'm going to fold it outwards like this. So this is going to be the inner part that is going to be shown. So I'm going to cage it so that it's not going to be too strong on the body. So I'm going to be using this fiber to do that. And I will use this hemming gum to attach it. Okay. So all you just need to do is to cut a little bit of your hemming gum. We're going to spread this on this. That you have i'm bringing my bust arm because of course you cannot hang on a bust on a flat surface so after spreading like this you are going to lay this on it and apply your earth iron this is steam iron so that's what i'm going to use to so it so you cut it around and then iron it this video is already long so i'll go ahead now and then fix this to it and bring it back to show us what we have okay so <coughs> you make sure that you keep ironing it make sure your iron is hot you can apply steam if you need to so that it can stay well then you trim it around so this is what i have now make sure you iron on the bust arm so that you don't have anything flat you can see the depth that i have on this bust here now so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take it to your ironing table your sewing machine and then you're going to sew it close here okay so i'm going to go ahead and run a stitch like this you place it right side facing right side you pin it down and then you sew from here so i'm going to leave this underneath to turn it so i'm going to sew from here and then flip it over okay so i'm going to have to run the stitch you can see so you're going to notch it a little bit before you turn because this 
fashion fabric we are working with is very thick so i'm trying to notch it so that i can relax well and i'm going to flip it remember we are yet to turn the lower part so you are going to flip from there so if you see anywhere that is the same allowance is too much you can trim it off so that it's not going to be too bulky so now we are going to flip and then you iron you can also place an aiming on here so that when you iron it it's going to lay flat for you okay. so you can see now that the neckline is neatly turned so i'm going to iron it again so that's can really i'm just to iron it and you can see that it is laying really flat and well for me so i'm going to further iron it well so this lower part here i'm going to turn it with my bias so i'm going to put the bias and then use it to turn that lower part so that it can be neat so i'm going to set this aside now and then i'll start working on the body for the body i'm going to go ahead and start attaching my bone okay so i'm going to be doing that on the main fabric so this is the front of course i'm going to add boning to all the dark lines that i have i'm not going to be stopping there so i'm going to add another one at the center and anywhere else you wish to add your bonings to i have have i have several tutorials so now you can do that so you just need to wrap your bony inside i'm using this half an inch bony not the tiny one that we used to catch i'm using this other one so i'm going to be wrapping you cut the length that you need and then you wrap it and sew on the channels so i'm going to be sewing this to the main fabric both front and back so for the back i'm just sewing on these channels and then i'm going to be sewing on the lacing bar area as well so by the time i attach all of this bony you are going to see it but like i said i already have tutorials on how you can do that on the channel so you can just cut it out i'll just bring my fabric i'm going to add interfacing to it i just want to do like an illustration of what i'm going to do i'm going to add interfacing to the fabric and then cut that around 1.5 inches so when you cut that out you are going to iron your bony so that it can be straight and then you're going to wrap this around it so there are several ways you can do it i may still show this when i'm sewing but i don't want this video to be too long so once you wrap it you are going to sew and then place it along all the channels that you have here okay so that's what i'm going to do now it's a lot so i'll just get to it and sew all the bonings then bring it back to show us what we have Okay, so you can see I just showed a little bit of how I am turn I'm fixing the bony. So this is the front, all bony fixed. So you go ahead and use your steam iron to iron it well, especially if your bony is still bent. If you apply steam on it, it's going to help it to become flat like this. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is the front, and these are the two back pieces. So for the back pieces, I added boning on the dart lines, like I said, the two dart lines then on my channel for, for lacing, on my lacing back, I left half an inch to turn, then I fixed one boning, then you leave space for your eyelid and then fix another boning. So that was what I did there. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine now and then turn the neckline 
so i'll place the lining against the fabric and then i'm going to go ahead and sew the neckline and the center back remember we left off an inch here to turn so i go ahead and sew like this and on the neckline leaving this side okay we are going to leave this side take the one that corresponds like this i'm going to sew it on the center back and then sew the neckline as well you leave the side and the hem so that i can have something next so that's for the back for the front okay remember this place we want it to be standing like this so i'm going to be placing a bone in here to help it have more structure so in order to be able to do that i'm going to turn the ham oil area on the okay so on this one i'm just going to place it like this right side facing right side lining with this fabric and then the little arm oil that i have here i'm going to run a stitch there and then i'm going to turn it so that i can sew the boning together for both lining and fabric then i'm going to use bias to turn that part we are not fixing the boning here it will still stand if you don't fix the boning once you place the bustier underneath it and then you clean it and pack around it will still stand but if you want it to have more structure you can place a bone in there which is what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and turn the handle then i'm going to flip so you can hold the rest the this part with a stitch so that it will be easy for you to work on it so i'll do that and bring it back to show us what will happen so you can see now that i have gone ahead to turn the handle for the front so the handle the little handle that we have left I did turn it on both sides and I went to sew in my boning. So you can see sewing the boning is going to give that place a little bit of structure. That was why you, I said you should sew it, but it's not compulsory. So you just sew your lining and your main fabric together and then you sew the boning to it so that I can have this. Then you go ahead and cut out um, a bias please. It has to be on bias cut. So I've cut out my bias like this, then I'm going to sew on the wrong side, then flip it over to the right side to cover this hole. So that's for the front. And for the back, I have also sewn in my, I've used my lining to turn the main fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and iron it flat on this part. Then on the lacing bar area, I top stitched following the lines that I already have so that I can easily see it on the line. Then I'm going to make my highlight here. So I'll go ahead and turn this upper part now. Then I'm going to iron it and bring it back to show us what we have. So you know why this is the bustier? It is ready. You can see that it is clean both in and out. So I'm just going to attach it to the over bust that we have. Okay, so I have gone ahead to turn it. You can see that it is neatly turned now so you cut off your thread and then you're going to iron it well so this is what i have now so now i want to show you several ways you can actually attach your bustier to it okay this is the bustier so you can sew the front and back of this one together completely and then you bring in after joining both front and back of the main bodies like this then you bring in your bustier and tack another method you can use is to take this to your mannequin and then set where it's supposed to be okay you you look at it you you place it the proper way it is supposed to be so once you're able to do that you are going to pin it you can do that on your manic on your straight pattern like this as well so you pin it all around so when you supin it, you're going to turn it to the wrong side like this. So when you turn it to the wrong side, you're going to detach your, your lining from your fabric. And then you start pinning the lining alone to the bustier. Okay. So once you pin your lining to your bustier alone, remember the main fabric is still there. The, you are just pinning the lining to the bustier. You're now going to take it to your sewing machine. You open it out. And then you find a way to sew on the line you can see i already turned my bustier so the same line that i have there that i used to turn my bustier i'm going to sew it to the lining alone that way you're going to attach your bustier to your lining 
before you sew in the front and back okay so i've gone ahead to do that you can see now that it is sewn it is sewn together but on the lining you can see why this is still separate you can see where i sew it you sew it to the underboss of the lining like this and then it's going to be attached okay it's going to be attached so this is what you're going to have so when you are done you're just going to tack this upper part that is not yet sewn you're going to tack to just the lining okay so this method is going to reduce the tacking that you're going to be doing you won't need to tack so much you just need to tack on just these two points and then you know that the under bust area is secure so like i said there are several ways you can make this funnel corset you can make this inner bust here full just like you did for the outer one you can make it full then you can easily turn them out together but i use this method because of people that may want to make a transparent corset so if you're making a transparent corset that will not have lining you need to sew your under bust separately like this and your main body separately so there are several ways if you want me to do another tutorial on um, a separate type of funnel corset where you have it in full like this just drop it in the comment section and let me know to film a tutorial on it so now that this part is done the next thing to do is just to go ahead and join your front and back together so you know how to join that you are going to be joining the front the fabric separately and then you're going to join the lining separately as well you do the same thing for this other side as well then after that we are going to hem the lower part i've gone ahead to sew it together this is the back and this is the front so this is the fabric you can see and this is the lining so you have to sew them separately so that you can have something neat like this this is the other side as well so you can see everything is too puffy i've not ironed things so i'm going to just go ahead and iron everything that i've been sewing so that they can lay flat for me and not puffy just like we have all this place okay so now this is the hem for the hem you're going to match your darts together and then you're going to pin it okay you match the darts together this is the side you're going to pin everything together like this and you're going to cut your bias to turn it out so that it can be neat as well so i'm going to hang on and then turn the hem line then i'll bring you back to show us so that's what we need to do now we we'll turn our hem line we we'll make our eyelet holes and our corset is ready you can see what we have so i'm going to go ahead and do this and then bring you back to show us what this looks like so this is what it looks like when i'm done sewing it you can see that it is neatly finished both in and out so if you want a detailed tutorial on how i did the caging how to sew it the tricks and tips that makes it easier to sew just post it in the comment section i'm going to upload a video on bust caging i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful funnel corset with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe and i'm going to see you in the next one bye